Hi, and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. Deborah recently asked me a question on one of my YouTube videos, so I thought I would go ahead and read it right here. Hi Nikki, how did you start in your RV? Did you buy it to travel and sell on Amazon? The answer is nope. <laughs> So I thought I would just go ahead and explain how I got started selling on Amazon and in RV travel in general because it's been a while since I've gotten into all that. So back in 2016, I was living in Los Angeles, working in e-commerce for Belkin. And before that, I had worked at Mattel. And before that, way before, I actually got my start as an assistant buyer in the Virgin Mega Stores, which was a dream job at the time. But then in 2008, they all closed. So right out of college, I was out of a job. When I was growing up, I really wanted to do that thing where you get in at the entry level and you work your way up. But as I'm sure you're aware, that's not how things work anymore. And so quickly I learned that networking and just being a really great employee. So my boss from Virgin had me come work for her at another little e-commerce place I worked at. And then that also closed, I think, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that closed as well or their LA branch anyways closed. But through that, I had made a connection with someone who went on to work at Mattel. And so I got a job at Mattel through there. And then my boss from the first two jobs was working at Belkin and then she called me about a job there. So not how I had planned it, but that's how it goes. So I was working at Belkin making 75,000 a year or 80,000, somewhere in there. I know I was pushing to get a promotion and a raise at the time that I ended up quitting. So I remember that part, but I was making really great money. I was super proud of myself. I was, how old was I? I think I was 30 or 31 at the time and I was, you know, real proud. But I really didn't like my job. It was an easy job, but the people who I worked with were not so easy. So somewhere along the line, my best friend and I were watching Fixer Upper and we were like, well, why don't we go to Texas? And then somehow it was like, why don't we get an RV and travel first? And I really don't know. We can't remember whose idea it was to RV around, but we were like, oh, that sounds fun. So I started in at the end of 2016, I started saving up money so that I could quit my job having no idea what I was going to do. We bought the RV in May of 2017. I quit my job at the end of May and two days later we hit the road to Utah. I had no idea what I was going to do for income. I just knew that I could figure out something. Right before we left, I had found out about the selling family and selling on Amazon. So the more I researched into it, I was like, hey, I've actually sold CDs. When I worked at Virgin, they had the books on tape that we would get for free and so I would turn around and sell them on Amazon. And so I was doing that and so it never occurred to me that people could go to Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx, buy stuff and turn around and sell it on Amazon. That never crossed my mind. So when I heard about it, I was like, hey, I kind of have experience with this and I love to shop. It sounded like a win-win. So I had already bought in the training, which I still highly recommend. And the link is on the screen if you wanna grab it. It is worth every single penny. You guys, I've spent money on trainings that aren't and this one is worth it. I've talked about this in another video, but I really dragged my feet in getting started with the boot camp. I took over two months to do it because I was doing it off and on. Because, I mean, I can say, hey, yay, I was traveling and exploring and not working for the first time in who knows how long. But at the end of the day, I was just also being lazy. Because when I started telling people about it, they would go through it in like a couple days. So it took me two months. But I finally did do it. And at the end of August of 2017, I sent in my very first shipment. Here is a screenshot of it right here. Almost immediately was like, why didn't I do this? earlier. There is no reason I couldn't have started doing this while I was working my full-time job. It's, I still only do it part-time. I go sourcing one day a week and I ship it out another day. That's two days. I could have done that in the evenings or, you know, gone to the Target that was down the street from my work at my lunch. It really is something I could have done. And that's why I'm always saying, if you have the comfort of an income and a pretty easy, even if it's not easy, flexible job, and you have the drive to start a second income or create this full-time income for yourself that you can eventually quit your job and have this going. That is what I recommend. That is the better way to do it. But I did have a savings so that allowed me to travel and have the comfort of figuring out what I wanted to do. Selling on Amazon is not technically hard, but it really does take some getting used to. So if you have that ability to do it while you have a, a steady income coming in, that I recommend that. But there's no reason that if you're like me and you have no income coming in, that you can't also jump in and start doing it. It just does take a while before it starts to pay off and you get the profits. So that is how I got started. It was not, I got an RV to buy on Amazon, although I do love that I can shop in new places all the time. That's not why I got it. I got it to travel. And three and a half years later, I am here in Missouri in state number 46, I do believe. And it's been a ton of fun. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or need any help, definitely let me know. I'm happy to help. Until next time, happy sourcing.